Hi everyone, I'm Thea and welcome to my new video. If you have ever wondered how people actually use their bullet journal spreads instead of just seeing how they make them, you have come to the right place as today I'm going to share my planning process with you. I've been bullet journaling for 6 years now and this routine is the one I found the most effective for me as I've been able to be very consistent with my bullet journal. Without further ado, let's get started with how I plan my month. I start off by transferring all the important dates from my view to lock to my monthly spread, so I don't have to flip back to that page. This calendar is smaller than what I usually use, so I also wrote the same dates in the important date section, so I don't accidentally mess them up. Because I'm someone who tends to procrastinate sometimes, I like to plan my weeks ahead of time so I can keep myself accountable. A big monthly to-do list doesn't really work for me, and because of that I write smaller to-do lists for each week as that feels less overwhelming. This is a fairly new addition to my bullet journal as I started doing this this year, and I want to say that don't be afraid to try out new things in your bullet journal or change things up. I do that a lot and that has been one way to be more motivated to journal as I don't get bored so easily. Anyway, I just write the important dates here as well because repeating things helps me to remember them. My biggest project each month is making my plan with me videos as that usually takes a little over a week, especially if I'm having a sponsorship or something. So I start by planning my schedule for that as it's easier to figure out how much time I have left for other stuff like making extra videos and things like that. I usually spend one week filming and editing the video and start planning my theme a week before that as coming up with a theme can be a bit of a struggle sometimes. If you are a student for example, you could use this section to plan when you have to study for an exam or start writing an essay to get the grade you want. If you do it on the last day before the deadline, chances are that you are not as prepared as you could be or would like to be. I think this would have been a very helpful spread for me back when I was still studying as well, as I definitely was a last minute person and still sometimes am. <laughs> Now that I've planned my weekly schedule, I move on to filling my happy tracker and this is how I usually start my bullet journal routine. I like to bullet journal each morning when I'm having breakfast and fill in the rest in the evenings. The first habits in my list are the ones I try to do every morning like taking my vitamins and making my bed. My goal is also to wake up before 10 but on this Tuesday I was just too tired and needed more rest. It's okay if you skip some days in your tracker or that you sometimes have a completely empty tracker at the end of the month. The goal is to do your best and not to be perfect. After I have filled out my morning habits, I start planning my day or week if it's Monday morning. I like to flip back to my weekly planning section every time I'm planning my weekly spread so I can remind myself of the schedule and make sure I don't forget anything important. The first thing I like to do is to mark down important days and events that might take up a big chunk of my day or week. For example, I was going to travel to Helsinki on this week and I marked that down so it's easier to plan which things I needed to get done before leaving. Because my calendar spread only has the specific dates that I'm traveling written down, I checked my train tickets on my phone so I can mark down the exact time when my train leaves and arrives, so I don't forget them. There are actually a couple different ways I fill in my weekly spreads and I'm going to show you first what I do if I haven't used my journal the day before, as that actually happened to me because I just wasn't feeling it on one day. The one task that I did on Monday was posting to Instagram, so I first wrote that down and below it I wrote some notes about my day. We started watching the Midnight Club on Netflix with my boyfriend and that was probably the highlight of my day, so I just wrote some thoughts about that series. Next I started planning my day and which things I needed to get done. I get easily intimidated if a to-do list gets too long, so I like to write just the three most important things I want to get done and I can continue that list later if I like to. 
On this day, my goal was to film a section of my upcoming travel journal video, film this video that you are now watching and go for a walk. Because I'm leaving on Friday, I also wrote down some things I needed to get done before that, like packing for the trip and planning my next weekly spread. This is basically it for my morning planning routine and it usually takes maybe 5 to 10 minutes so it's really quick and easy, especially because I use just this one pen for filling in everything. Now let's move on to my evening planning routine. First I want to point out that using my bullet journal twice a day is a goal which I don't always achieve and that is totally fine. Sometimes I only use my bullet journal during the evenings and some days I don't use it at all. In the evenings I mark down which things I got done and write few sentences about my day so I will remember later what I was doing and how I was feeling. I feel like the days can sometimes merge together in my mind if I don't write anything down and it can also make me feel like I got nothing done so writing in my weekly spreads is very important for me and my mental health and it's something that keeps me motivated to journal because my mind doesn't feel as confused and cluttered. Anyway, I fill in the rest of the habits in the evenings and usually I've done only a couple of them because I'm tracking some habits just for fun. I've always really enjoyed tracking habits and it also frees up some writing space in my weekly spreads because I don't have to write the same things in there. By the way, all these spreads that you are seeing in this video are basically the most essential bullet journal spreads for me as they are the ones I always like to include in my monthly setups. I just sometimes change up the layout according to my needs. After the habit tracker, I fill in my mood tracker and for this one I just pick one or two doodles that describe my day. On this specific day I was feeling okay and tired so I drew a little leaf and moon on the first square. This mood tracker works really well for me because I don't have to change up between different pens and markers. The pen that I use for filling in everything is a 0.38 gel pen from Muji and it has been my favorite for years because it flows really nicely and using this one keeps my fine liners in better condition because I only use them for drawing. If you are left-handed though, it might smudge a little bit easier than fine liners. The last step in my evening planning routine is to fill in my one line a day journaling spread. On this day I went for a walk and actually saw my uncle who I hadn't seen in a while and that was definitely the highlight of my day so I wrote that down. I always try to write something positive about my day here as it helps me to focus more on the good things that happened and this has really helped me to change my mindset that easily focuses on things I could improve. Bullet journaling overall has helped me to be more kind to myself because you can't avoid making mistakes with it and you have to get used to making them which has been great for a perfectionist like me. Lastly, I wanted to show you how I use my plant tracker. This section of the video was actually filmed at my parents' house, so that's why the lighting is a little bit different. In this plant tracker, I have a list of all the plants that I have and I will mark down the days when I gave water to my plants with a circle and if I fertilize the plant as well, I will add a little dot inside of that. This helps me to keep track of how well my plants are doing as some of them might have different watering schedules and I will sometimes write notes about them in the bottom of the spread as well. I've dedicated one spread for one month and I like to set up this tracker in the beginning of my journal so I don't have to set it up every month. Anyway, that's it for my current bullet journaling routine. Using my bullet journal after I have set up everything is pretty quick as I try to keep the spreads very functional instead of just focusing on aesthetics. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, leave them in the comments and also leave a dog emoji if you made it till the end. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!